Hey there, it's Anna. Ever felt like you're missing that spark, that undeniable tension that makes every interaction electrifying? Today, we're about to change all that. We are diving into the world of reverse psychology, revealing methods that can build sexual tension. It's not about manipulation, it's about creating a connection that's so strong it's almost tangible. These techniques are subtle, powerful, and when used correctly, can make someone crave your presence. If you've ever wanted to master the art of attraction and leave them wanting more, this is your moment. By the end of this video, you will understand how to weave this magnetic pull into your interactions, making you utterly unforgettable. Ready to unlock the secrets? Let's dive in and explore these game-changing strategies together. The Anticipation Build-Up You know that feeling when you're waiting for a text back from someone you're into? That mix of excitement and nerves wondering what they'll say and when they'll say it? Well, my friends, that's the power of the Anticipation Build-Up. Here's how you can use it to your advantage. When you're chatting with a woman you like, don't always be too quick to respond. Let her messages sit for a bit, even if you're dying to write back. When she asks you a a question, take a beat before answering. The goal here isn't to play games or be manipulative, it's to create a sense of anticipation and excitement around your interactions. By making her wait just a little bit, you are giving her time to think about you, to wonder what you're up to next and what you'll say next. And that wondering, it's the spark that ignites the flame of attraction. When she's thinking about you, even when you're not around, that's when you know you've got her hooked. The bait and switch conversation. Picture this, you are texting with your crush and things are getting a little steamy. You are trading flirty jokes and innuendos and the sexual tension is palpable. But then, just when things are really heating up, you throw her a curveball. Suddenly, you are talking about the weather or your grocery list or that funny thing your dog did the other day. It's like you've dumped a bucket of ice water on the whole conversation, but here's the thing. That sudden shift in tone, it can actually be a major turn on. By switching from flirty to neutral, you're showing her that you are not a wandering pony, you've got depth and range and you're not afraid to use it. Plus, by leaving her hanging just when things were getting good, you are creating a sense of unfinished business. She'll be left wondering what might have happened if you'd kept going down that flirty path and that curiosity, it's like catnip for attraction. Praise others in her presence. Gentlemen, have you ever noticed how a little bit of competition can be a major aphrodisiac? Well, you can use that to your advantage with this sneaky little tactic. When you are out with your crush and your mutual friends, try complimenting one of these friends in front of her. Maybe you mention how great their new hairstyle looks or how impressed you are with their recent promotion at work. The key here isn't to make your crush jealous or to actually flirt with someone else. It's to provoke a subtle sense of competition. When she sees you noticing and appreciating the good qualities in others, it's natural for her to want to measure up. She'll start thinking about her strengths and what she brings to the table, and that self-reflection, it's the perfect breeding ground for attraction. She'll be working harder than ever to catch your eye and show you why she's just as worthy of your praise and attention. Just be sure to use this tactic sparingly and with a light touch. If you lay it on too thick or start ignoring your crush in favor of someone else, it could backfire big time. The key is to find that perfect balance, a little bit of healthy competition, a lot of focus on the woman you're actually interested in. The covert challenge. Guys want to know a surefire way to get her blood pumping and her mind racing? Try the covert challenge. It's all about making her work a little harder for your attention and trust me, it can be a game changer. Here's the deal. When you're chatting with a woman you are interested in, don't be too quick to respond to every message or jump at every opportunity to hang out. Make her wonder if you're really interested or if you've got other options on the table. I know, I know, it sounds counterintuitive, but by being just just a little bit less responsive, you are tapping into a deep-seated human desire to chase after what we can't easily have. It's like dangling a carrot just out of reach. Suddenly, she's more motivated than ever to grab it. The key here is to be subtle about it. Don't go overboard and completely ignore her, or she might just write you off as a lost cause. But if you can find that sweet spot where she's not quite sure where she stands, that's where the magic happens. The public-private paradox. Fellas, if you really want to get the engine revving, try this little trick on the size, the public-private paradox. It's all about creating a sense of mystery and intrigue around your public persona, and it can be insanely effective. When you are alone with her, don't be afraid to let your affectionate side shine. Hold her hand, whisper sweet nothings, make her feel like the center of your universe, but when you are out in public, play it cool like you've got a reputation to uphold. It might seem like a strange approach, but trust me, it works. By being a little more reserved in public, you are creating a sense of anticipation for 
for those private moments when you can really let loose. She'll start wondering what are the secrets you might be hiding and that curiosity? It's a powerful aphrodisiac. Just be careful not to take it too far. If you are a completely different person in public than you are in private, she might start to question your authenticity. The key is to find a balance, a little bit of mystery, a little bit of consistency. Understated achievements. All right, gents, here's a little secret weapon for building sexual tension, understated achievements. It's all about keeping your cards close to your chest and letting her imagination run wild. When you are talking about your accomplishments, don't go overboard with the bragging, mention them casually like they're no big deal, and then move on to something else. Let her be the one to ask for more details. Why does this work? Because it taps into that age-old human desire to uncover what's hidden. When you downplay your successes, you are creating a sense of mystery around your true capabilities. She can't help but wonder what else you might be capable of, and that wonder? It's a major turn-on. Plus, by being understated about your achievements, you're showing her that you are confident enough to not need constant validation. You know your own worth and you don't feel the need to shout it from the rooftops. That kind of quiet confidence, it's insanely attractive. Just be sure not to take it too far into false modesty. If you are constantly brushing off your accomplishments like they are nothing, she might start to wonder if you are actually as successful as you claim to be. The key is to find that perfect balance, confident but not cocky. The veil of secrecy. All right, gents, let's talk about one final way to build sexual tension through reverse psychology. The veil of secrecy. This one's all about keeping certain aspects of your life under wraps and letting her imagination fill in the blanks. When you are getting to know a woman, it's natural to want to share everything about yourself, but sometimes a little bit of mystery can go a long way in sparking attraction. By keeping some parts of your life hidden, you're creating an air of intrigue that she can't help but be drawn to. Maybe you mention a cool trip you took last year, but don't go into all the details. Or you hint at a big project you are working on, but keep these specifics vague. The goal isn't to be evasive or dishonest, it's to give her just enough information to pique her curiosity and then let her mind wander. And trust me, when her mind starts wandering, that's when the magic happens. She'll start imagining all sorts of exciting possibilities about who you are and what you're capable of. She'll be dying to learn more to unravel the mysteries you've hinted at. Of course, you don't want to take this too far and come across as secretive or shady. The key is to find a balance, share enough to keep her interested, but hold back just enough to keep her guessing. Think of it like a treasure map. You are giving her little clues and hints, leading her on a journey of discovery and the ultimate treasure. That's you in all your complex, multifaceted glory. So don't be afraid to keep a little bit of yourself hidden, at least at first. Let her earn the privilege of knowing you fully, piece by tantalizing piece, and watch as the sexual tension builds with every new revelation, every tantalizing tantalizing glimpse behind the veil of secrecy. And there you have it. Now you know how to use reverse psychology to build sexual tension. What's next for you? Learn how to tell if women think you're good looking or discover the hobbies that make you more attractive. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe for more.